and gentlemen, accepting for Mr. Ted Turner, please welcome Bill Bartholomew. the day, um, um, I sold the uh, <coughs> Milwaukee Braves, my partner and I did, to Ted Turner. It's, um, so it's an, almost an anniversary. Uh, I can tell you, I thought it was um, the time we had a price negotiation. If you read the papers these days, you'll enjoy this. Ted said, I just can't pay uh, over $10 million. I can't, can't go to 10. Can you, 9 million, 9? I said, no, 10. Uh, it's got to be 10. It's got to be a little north of that. He said, okay, but you promise not to tell anybody. I said, I can't promise you that. And you can't either. You've got a public company. You better remember that every now and then. And um, so we finally agreed it was $9,975,000, okay? Uh, the Braves payroll this year will make that in the first 10 games of the season, I think. So <laughs> Um, what do you say if you're um, National Leaguers, I've been for 53 years as Chairman and Chairman Emeritus of the Braves. Ted kept me on and became Vice Chairman of his company. What do, you, what do you say? Well, first of all, you don't know anything about a designated hitter. We don't like that in the National League. And to be one exception, I guess, if you're going to be a DH for Ted Turner, that's something. That's an honor. This guy, if there's ever one, one of a kind in this wonderful world we live in, it has to be this fellow. His name is on the door. He never did ask anybody to do anything that he didn't do himself. The video told you everything, but they didn't tell you. is in the American Cup thing, our budget, I was there. Um, I had to be an investor. I had no choice with Ted. He just told you. And, um, and, and we, uh, our budget was just about $2 million. Now you can't, <laughs> well, I don't even know what it is now. I have to call Larry Ellison, I guess, and find out. But um, it's, um, he was that kind of guy. And the same with the Braves. We didn't have any money. We had tough times and whatnot. But he built it. He laid the groundwork. He got Hank Aaron involved in our farm system. He, he lived what he felt. He thought baseball was way behind on matters, social matters and whatnot. And Ted took the lead on that. And he also put the Braves games up on the Big Bird, 1977. And as pointed out, in the, uh, everybody here knows, and many of them, participated in this, um, it became America's team. And uh, we built into something that led to, much later on, 14 division championships, or division winners, yes, and uh, five league championships, finally won a World Series in 1995. Couldn't have been done without Ted. He was an inspirational guy. He did it all himself. He kept strange hours. He was up at 4.30 every morning. He didn't stay up late at night. Mm, once or twice, maybe. <laughs> but um, a lifestyle that you can't imagine. He made an awful lot of money for a lot of people, but more importantly, he made a ton of friends for all of us that had the pleasure of knowing him. You honor him. I talked to him yesterday. He sent you all his love and his best. He's thrilled what happened in Paris. He was very much involved in, over the years, those who know him in matters affecting the climate. And uh, he asked me to pinch hit for him in DH. I'm honored to do it. Thank you for honoring him. It's, 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 being in the, in the Sports Broadcasting Hall of Fame is very meaningful to him. So I wish you all well, all the other inductees, and thank you for having me. I appreciate it.